Hello, 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 everybody, boys and girls. It is Daniel Weafi here, and I am the president and the director of marketing of Vegas Divorce Pros, where we prepare cheap and affordable, quick, professional divorce, annulments, and legal separation documents for our clients. Uh, we are not attorneys, can't give you legal advice. We are registered by the state of Nevada to prepare and file your divorce documents. So uh, as always, you guys and ladies, none of the information on this video shall be construed as legal advice. And the question that I want to answer now, you guys, is how is child support calculated? Okay, so I'm actually doing a car cast uh, well, an SUV cast out here in my SUV, and I just wanted to uh, get this quick video out there, so I'm doing a Facebook Live. Um, as always, you guys, if you are needing help, uh, please feel free to message us, uh, comment on this video. If you're watching this on YouTube, because I'm going to put the, the video on YouTube as well, uh, comments on that as well, and we'll be glad to give you a free 15 minute phone consultation okay that being said you guys uh, let's talk about how child support is calculated okay so basically the way child support is calculated you guys is uh it depends on who has the physical custody of the child or the children okay so Let's say you have joint physical custody of the kids, right? That means that both you and your ex, soon to be ex spouse have at least 40 to 60% of the time with the kids, right? So, what they will do is they'll take a percentage of your income and then a percentage of your spouse's income, and then whoever is the lower earning parents. And thank you for that like. Is that Linda? Is that Miss Linda out there in New York watching this video? And so they'll take the lower earning income uh, parents calculation and subtract that from the higher earning parents income. And then whatever the difference is, you guys, that is the amount of child support that the higher earning parents will have to pay. OK, so. Uh, and the way the percentages are, you guys and ladies, is like this. And this is current as of January 2021, as we're recording this video. Uh, the guidelines they change, okay? Uh, so if you have one kid, it is 16% of your gross monthly income. If you have two kids, it is 22% of your gross monthly income. If it's three kids, it is 26 percent of your gross monthly income and then past that you guys it's uh two percentage points for each additional child okay now let's say um you have joint physical custody and let's say you make five thousand dollars a month and your spouse makes six thousand dollars a month right and you guys have one kid what they're gonna do is they are going to take 16% of your spouse's $6,000. And then 16% of your $5,000. They're going to subtract those two amounts. And then whatever the difference is, the person that makes more money pays it to the lower earning parent. Does that make sense? I know you guys are watching this video and you're like, oh my God, Daniel, I did not think I was going to take a math class. <laughs> well, welcome to math. All right. Again. You don't need to figure this out by yourself. Just make sure you get with us at the link that I have posted in the description of this video. And we'll be glad to get jump on a 15 minute free phone consultation with you. OK, and you can even uh, comment in this uh, post and uh, we'll get back to you. OK, now let's say you have primary physical custody. OK, that means that. Uh, you have your kid, your kids, your minor kids, uh, for over 60% of the time. Okay. Now in this case, you guys, your income doesn't come into play. Okay. It's not calculated. The only person whose income is calculated is the non-custodial parents income. Okay. So, uh, let's say 22% of 
your husband, your soon to be ex husband, they'll take a percentage of his income, his gross monthly income, and then that amount is due to you. Okay. I know it's you guys are talking about me and you guys are about to come get me. I'm having y'all do math on a Friday. I know you guys want to go out there and party and everything, but hey, stick with me. Okay. And so at the end of the day, you guys, um, when it comes to divorce, the only thing that uh, the state of Nevada cares about for the most part is that uh, the kids are taken care of. Okay. You guys can do whatever y'all want to do. Okay. <laughs> you can do stupid things <laughs> in regards to your house, your bank accounts, whatever, but it, you got to make sure that those kids are taken care of. Okay. That's the only thing that matters. And so thank you, Ms. Linda. She said, hello, Daniel. I love your videos. Thank you. Thank you. Her daughter, Linda's daughter, uh, Tara, she actually works for us as one of our case managers. So if you call us or text us, you'll probably talk to Linda's daughter. Okay. Uh, but at the end of the day, that's the only thing that matters. Okay. So anyways, hope you guys like this. If there is somebody that needs divorce help and you know of that person, please feel free to forward them over to us, to this Facebook page. You feel free to share this video with your friends and frenemies and all that. If you need any help, have any questions, please feel free to get with us at the link that is in the description. Uh, go to VegasDivorcePros.com. Call us or text us at 702-903-4060. Peace and God bless you guys. Have a great, awesome rest of your day.